What's up everybody? This is Kirby Mary here and welcome to some more Until Dawn. So on the last video we were playing a scene that was from a year before the actual game in which um, twin sisters Hannah and Beth disappear even though we as the audience saw what kinda happened. So everything began with this stupid pranks by the stupid rest of the characters we're about to play as. Um, which they were gonna do a prank on Hannah because apparently Hannah had a huge cross on a whole mic um, in which uh, a bunch of people were involved in it um, and Sam which is the character played by Hayden Panettiere um, she tried to find Hannah to stop the prank and everything but she couldn't find her and Hannah already fell into the trap in which uh, at the same moment while well, all of this was happening, Beth on the other hand saw another person standing outside of the house. Uh, Beth was freaking out and she was trying to talk to her brother Josh but he was super freaking drunk that, you know, she, she just didn't bother to even talk to him after that um, because he was really drunk. Um, and also after Hannah fell into the trap she got really sad, really angry and she just left running in the snow like nothing and then Beth sees Hannah running and when she goes out the rest of the people are already there and they think that this thing is not you know like not a big deal they're like oh well it's just so we made a little prank on her and it's not a big deal like come on you've got to be freaking kidding me the I just literally want to just literally want to slap each and every one of you but yeah, and after that, Beth goes to find Hannah, in which um, we we encountered some pretty stupid jump scares. But in the end, we find Hannah, um, in which she is sad and uh, angry, and she couldn't believe she fell into a trap like that. Um, but it didn't took them long until they discovered that something else was following them, and both the twin sisters started running, in which. Um, while they kept running, um, they made it to a cliff side of the mountain, um, and both um, both of them fall off until they're being hold until Beth is holding like um, a rock, which is holding the life of her and Hannah. Until um, some until the same dude that was standing right in front of the house comes out, tries to grab Beth's hand so that you know she could grab his hand and they gave us two options of letting Hannah go so we can go with this dude or both of them die so um, I decided to let them both die but um, I was doing a little homework and check out um, if I would if I let go of Hannah and save Beth then will she appear in the other game but no either both of them die I mean you know what they both die either way and it's pretty stupid, so I don't know why they even gave you that option in the beginning when they just could have just killed him off in the first place. After that, we jump to um, the now event, to put it that way, in which um, Sam and the rest of the other friends are going back to the Blackwood Pines um, to have a chill time and, s and spend time as friends and everything. Remember Hannah and Beth. Um, in which we also meet another character named Chris, which he is really funny. I really like this dude so far. Um, one of my favorite characters so far, literally. Um, he's got a sense of humor. Um, and apparently he has a crush on this girl named Ashley, which we don't know who she is yet. But yeah, it's fine. After that, um, we explore. We, we talk about a little... You know, we talk, have a little chit chat about stuff that teenagers talk about. And then after that, um, we play as Jess, which is the totally B-word girl who caused the prank in the first place back a year ago. Um, in which um, she is apparently waiting for Mike, because um, in the, the year ago, Mike and Emily, which is the other girl, um, were a couple at that time. In which she even admitted that she was looking out for M and blah 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 blah. blah. But um, now Jess is the one who's with Mike. Um, a sheet in which I deliberately decided to confess both to Chris and Sam about it. Um, in which she yeah, is still waiting for Mike, and yeah. 
Anyway, after that, simply short, um, we were about to begin where we left up, in which we both met Emily, who looks like she's the world's biggest a-hole, like I said, and Mav, who is stupid enough to be with a girl like Emily. So, yeah. And without further ado, let's do this. Alright, so we're here with Mav and Emily. Um, there are a few other characters that we haven't mapped yet, but... I know there's some some pretty characters. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Can I walk faster? Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Oh, Jesus! Oh, gotta be. Oh, it's the a-hole dude, Mike. Mike, Emily's ex. Well, he does look intelligent, driven, persuasive. You got what an a hole. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. <laughs> you like that? Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Now I get why Mike broke up with Emily. Anyway, we're not, we're just gonna go chill your hair and whatever. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? Map is pretty stupid so far, anyway. <laughs> oh but. my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See yeah. ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Really? Yeah. All the bags. Oh, <laughs> you're such Why? a B word. I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just I really You're need to go find such a I freaking totally liar. I, I know to what you're up to. Before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Whatever, just do whatever you want. Okay, get the freak out. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well then we're even at least. I'll think about it. Just Come on, at least give him a smoosh, Emily. You up there, sweetie. Thank you. That's sweet, but I want to smoosh with the mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, whatever. Emily is a B-word, Matt is an idiot, and Mike is 50-50. I mean, I, I still hate him. Maybe in the end, he, he will be a likable dude. Who's that now? Oh, you're Ashley! Oh, <laughs> she has a cross... A cross... <laughs> A crush on Chris too. That is come on. When you have a crush on someone else too, but you're both stupid and don't want to tell how you feel. Okay, so Ashley's academic, inquisitive for right. I think I'm gonna like this girl too as well. All right, what do you got in store, Ashley? <laughs> We're just looking out in the snow. Um, how do I? Whoa. Whoa, hello. See, I told you Emily was lying. I mean, I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. What a, what a B word Emily is. Both of them, I hate them. Well, let's just. Oh, ah! <laughs> hey, oh come on, Sorry, Matt. Okay, fine. I like you already. You scared me. Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, uh oh. It, Let me check it out. It, oh, freak! I don't want to lie to him, but if I tell him the truth... Oh, freak. He needs to know the truth. Um... Uh, go, go ahead. Actually, yeah, whatever. I know you're gonna be pissed, but I don't care. Butterfly effect. Seriously, Emily? 
Yeah. Emily is a B word. You think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Actually, don't blame yourself. Matt can get mad. He has the right to get mad. Man, I feel here. All right, what's going on now? Oh, great, we're playing as Jessica again. Hi, Jessica, you stupid woman. <laughs> if I check the phone, I'll look desperate. Let's just check the book. <laughs> You don't look like the type of person to read a book, but whatever. Oh! oh! You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you. No. But who am I to retaliate? Hey, what don't leave your phone there, girl. What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Let's grab the snowball. We're gonna mess with this dude. Wah! <laughs> Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! Woo! Oh! Brrrah! Oh yeah! Hey, you know that? Okay, I'm liking this so far. They they seem cute. Where are you hiding? Hey, Mike is better off with Jessica. Woo! Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh yeah! I'm a good girl. I'm not gonna destroy the bird. I'm not a monster. It's like it's tempting me to do it, but I can't do it. Whoop! Hey, Mike! Okay. I am better at snowball than you, Mike. <laughs> well, Jessica is. I'm just playing it for <laughs> Bird, just sometimes do nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. Okay, so we do nothing. So we just wait until the line goes away and that's it. Alright, good. I got you. Bra! Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, this is cool. Now this is oh, what I like. Down. I really want to do this with my boyfriend too one day. Playing snowball. Done. Done city. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know that. Okay, this is getting a little... <laughs> alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, yes! That sounds vaguely dirty. <laughs> Let's grab the snowball. I'm such a b <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, typical... Okay. okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? <laughs> Well, oh my god, these teenagers always yeah. hurt me. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, yeah. I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was hanging out with you the whole time. Okay, yeah. fine. They do make a cute couple. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Alright, we did it. You play snowballs. That's really cool. I really like it. What the? Oh my god, the killer's there! You guys didn't see that, did you? Holy cow. Oh, hi, Peter Stormare. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Alright. Let's, let's take a hole and go deep. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Hmm. Right now, I would say man worry me. I mean, both of them are fine, but if it's who, if I had to choose between, it's a man. Next. Plane scare. Well, none of them do, but... Let's just put planes. I get to count because I'm afraid of heights. Mm, exactly, I fear heights. Rats. 
<laughs> I've never s I'm s not- I'm scared of- the only reptile I'm scared of is lizard, not snakes. Um... Oh. I think... Uh, knives are scary. For Still the rats. I, I still agree that rats are still scary. Alright. None of them do, but maybe clowns. Like in this case, clowns. Mm. None of these, but... Um, let's just put crows are scary. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, Startle you? So Not really. <laughs> sorry, I was so focused on reading oh, that I didn't even hear you do the bruh. <laughs> Try to speed up. You know, dude, you just gave me the worst jump scare ever. <laughs> this is how you do a jump scare. You will find this, experience. this is very interesting. Thank you. Answering so diligent. <laughs> yeah. Rats, clowns, and crows. Pretty much the rats. But the clowns and crows, if you want to add it, that's fine, but I'm not afraid of them. Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Thanks for the section. Bye. Jealousy. Oh, there you are. Josh. Josh. You're kind of cute. Hannah and Beth's brother. Tuffle loving complex. But I, just, I still feel a little like suspicious a around you. I guess that's true. Yeah, there's something more than you're hiding. you install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> oh my hey God. guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Um. Well, you know, Emily the beware. Oh my God, the killer's right there, literally watching us. Yo, yo, okay, yo, we're playing yo. as Chris. You get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Oh my god. Both of these are awful choices. Well, let's just worry, I guess. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough. I think both of them are terrible. You know, I, I wouldn't like to know, ask him right? about it. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like yeah, I'm glad you are good. okay, Josh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? I mean, oh, there's boy. another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? It is your... I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. <laughs> oh my god, Josh. The way, coaches. Let's break into Josh's house. <laughs> Hi! Hi. Oh, look at cute! Okay, let's be confident. We need to be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. When you... Some time Seriously, smoosh already! Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little... They, we just basically started and I just want them to smoosh because I really think they're the cutest couple right now. Actually, you got a winner here. You'll see it. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Oh my god, Josh. I know what you're doing. Sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Mm. Dude, you just take a chill pill. <laughs> These teenagers always being so horny. Michael, take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. I know, Josh, yeah. but we're different. Listen, we want to do it the romantic way, not the horny way. I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. 
You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, uh, you come in for the kill. <laughs> I know, but... Well, maybe you're right, but... Let's just take Any it rest? easy, alright? You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Josh. Right, right, I got it. An empty axe! Holy cow, don't tell me that killer took it away. Clue found! Axe holder. Alright, let's see. I mean, oh, we also found the one. Suppose I didn't check. Um, axe holder. A wall mounted holder that should contain an axe, but the axe is missing. And what was the poster? We already read this earlier, so we're not gonna do it again. Okay. So the thinker, nice one. Yes. Let's push. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 again. Sorry, Josh. God, yeah. oh, <laughs> well, okay. that went well, Chris. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. Girl. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. What's going on? Yeah, with your farts. The ones you were Here. farting when you were pushing that thingy. What's that? Great. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Good, tell me. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Good, Josh. What do with the Lormy dudes? Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. Oh, you guys are such you great friends. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Oh my god, you're gonna leave me alone, Josh? Nope, but I'll do it. Oh, come god on. Speed, pilgrim. See ya, sir! <laughs> Alright, let's just explore around, I guess. What was that? What was that? What do we got here? Another clue found! So, what have we here? Let's, let's check the clue. I like checking clues. Um, the report covers a court case related to Blackwood Pines. An old janitor tried to burn the place down and the dock he swore revenge on the Washington family. That must be Josh's family. Ex-janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie Muggles family by Charlie Scott, blah blah blah. Victor, oh, okay, so it's the same one. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was an employee as, was employed as the janitor of the Mountain Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sen sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities, I guess, at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a freaking, a freaking, you know. He vowed to get all of your freaking husband and kids and said that he wouldn't make them that he, that he would make them suffer melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure through the case and later claimed that though she was upset by milgram's threat she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe all right <gasps> another one what is this oh my god Oh my god, are we gonna burn someone by accident? Lost to Tim? No, no, no. We can't do that. We can't. Um, I <laughs> got stuck, sorry. We can't. We're gonna be extra careful into not burning anybody. And by the way, that was Emily in there. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but no, we're not gonna kill anyone. What do we have here? Huh. That's cool. It's the family. Another clue found, family portrait. The portrait of the Washington's family, Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. I guess the lock is some kind of clue for later. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, it's the front door. Oh. Hi, Chris. Very funny. <laughs> oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. We'll be right there, chicas. It's open! Let's get it! Oh! This is the sh This is the bathroom we saw. Uh, back before we even coming here, remember the cameras? Holy cow. I don't see where the camera is at. Um, oh, crap. What do we have here? Good. Oh, it's- <laughs> 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 What is that doing in the house? Man, it looks like some nobody has cleaned this house in a while. Yeah, perfect. Josh, you were supposed to clean this house before bringing guests. We're freezing our buns off out here. Oh, great. Thanks for that, Ashley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> 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 Again? <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it's a you. tiny you bear, know, tiger, baby. raccoon thingy. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. It's just butter. <laughs> Alright. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming Yeah, no wonder you didn't clean the house and that stupid tiny bear probably. tiger raccoon thing was in there. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh. Oh, freak. Did I do something wrong with doing that? Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. Uh oh, mad, Just please. Just whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Okay, we're playing as Matt. Let's just not cause trouble. Let's just warn him. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Um... Just forget it. Thank you. Right. Right. Is something going on with you, man? Yes, but I don't want to tell you. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. At least Mike's is chill. Okay, I, I really like this story. Right? He changed my mind. He's just chill about it. Oh no. Oh. The B God, word in town has come. So gross. She's not even <laughs> kissing her. What the frick is wrong with you? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me. Did I don't you know say why something? you have to be such oh, a jealous b-word. Not hear me with your slut. Sounds like someone's better. She didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dreamboat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep, calling this homecoming a cow. Oh my god. What? I'm not gonna provoke Jess. Emily, just chill the freak Shut out. Up. I don't care if you Stay break up with me. Dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a... Okay. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. Well, suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural this advantages? Is, this is getting freaking handle. ridiculous. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> okay, that was you good. You think that's insulting? That's Just stop it, Emily. Shut the Emily, freak up. Stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! Thank you, Josh. Thank not you. Not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Respect, we can't get Josh, along for dude. Ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that? It's right up the trail. 
Matt, it's like Emily's Matt, such over. a B word. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? Oh my god. My bag, go. the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and Emily just over the rack speak and English all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean <laughs> she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, yeah, I'm gonna just like Emily, this is so Emily's such a B word. She's a B word in general. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Fine. If we're gonna smoosh him, we'll do it. Okay, let's go. You owe him some smooshing, Emily. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Really, Sam? Sam's like, I don't care, I just wanna take a shower. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, far. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling. <laughs> Jess, thanks for. Play your thanks cards for that. right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. <laughs> you got. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. Thank you. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? <laughs> no. Jess, what the frick is wrong with you? Jess, do you really want to? Oh my god. Jess, you're freaking stupid. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it an episode here. This game is really cool so far. Um, we got to meet the rest of the cast. Um, oh. oh. We're having him close. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you really did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to continue on this epic adventure, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.